In dealing with debt today, medical expenses are adding up for many Americans. Let's check in with Ted Rossman, the Chief Industry Analyst at CreditCards.com. Hello to you, Ted. Hi, Angie. How should people deal with medical debt and credit cards? If possible, I would avoid putting medical debt on a credit card. That's because credit card rates can be very high, especially the cards specifically targeted at medical bills, like Care Credit, for example, partners with a lot of doctor's offices and hospitals, their credit card rate is around 27%. And while they do have a zero interest promotion for up to 24 months, it's what's called deferred interest. So if you don't pay the full amount by the time the clock runs out, then they can go back and charge you retroactive interest on your average daily balance all the way back to the beginning. So that's a big gotcha to be aware of. What do you suggest? In general, I would say it's better to try to negotiate with the doctor or the hospital. Many of these entities already have payment plans that you can sign up for, and you could get a zero or low interest rate without the deferred interest gotcha. I think that's generally gonna be your better plan. What if the doctor won't negotiate with you? Now, if the doctor is not amenable to that, or if you already have medical debt on a credit card, then that's a little different scenario. If you can get a 0% balance transfer card, most of these offers are not deferred interest. Yes, you'd be charged interest once the clock runs out, but you'll have a period of time, up to 21 months, where you can pay no interest at all. How is it going for people trying to get those 0% balance transfer cards? Balance transfer cards are harder to get these days. Issuers are worried about risk and the state of the economy. So it is gonna to be tougher, but if you have a good credit score, especially in the 700s or 800s, you might be able to get a balance transfer card. What would be some other debt strategies? Some other strategies, personal loans are another one that is harder to get these days, but maybe as a possibility if you have a good credit score these are typically unsecured you might be able to get an interest rate as low as the mid to high single digits that's another thing to think about you could also just do the good old-fashioned avalanche or snowball method i would love if you would explain the avalanche and snowball plans that anybody can do to pay down their debt avalanche being prioritize highest interest rates first and the snowball being prioritized lower amounts first and try to get that momentum rolling like that snowball rolling downhill. Both actually really work and always a good reminder. Thank you so much, Ted. Thanks for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.